Hey y'all, how you perkin? I hope you're perkin good. So, live reading of twins, and they're not me and my twin sister this time. <laughs> this time it's different. Huh, interesting. And, old peen sweater. Decided to go with a nice fresh pink look today. What a gorgeous eyeshadow color, peen sweater. Look at you. Look at you. Stunning. Stunning. <laughs> and pushed in with some green tacks, if you can't tell. <laughs> Here, let's, let's, let's do this so y'all can still see. So y'all can still see. Rocking that look. Alrighty, y'all. Yes, we're going to look into um, what it was like to do a live reading uh, for a set of twins who I had never met before in my life. I had never spoke to them before in my life. This was the first time I had ever laid eyes on them, heard their voice, anything. Um, and you're fixing to see that. So... I am a licensed mental health clinician as well as a spiritual intuitive and in these videos we take a look at the tea with the tarot. These videos are always meant to be helpful, not hateful, so if you're down with that, join the family here. We'd love to have you and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, check to make sure you're still subscribed if you think you are. That's what the notification bell should look like if you're going to get notified of videos of, from me. But please check my profile page because YouTube drops the ball. Here's the join button if you want to be a part of the perk squad. Being a part of the perk squad, you get five extra perks. You get custom emojis that I designed that you get to use in chat and live streams. Nobody else gets to use them. You get to have a colorful badge by your name that shows how long you've been a member of the perk squad. You get exclusive videos, exclusive posts, and you get video shout outs like this one. I pulled up one of my more recent comments and I see shout out to you, Bella. Bella Dalbum, shout out to you, Bella Dalbum. Nice. You had a you had a very sweet comment on one of the previous ones where um Peen Sweater was wearing uh, a green eyeshadow. I think it was Peen Sweater's debut with eyeshadow too. And Bella wrote, oh my god, the eyes and the green makeup look is iconic. And then used the little uh, emoji, one of the custom emojis that we have um, as a part of the Perk Squad. So shout out to you, Bella Dalbun. Thank you for being a part of the Perk Squad. Relatively new member and we are very happy to have you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty, y'all. So let's dig on into this. This video um, was coming from a live stream that I've mentioned already in a previous video, the one about uh, the Johnny Depp update. This was a live stream that I got invited to with my twin sister um, and then two other twins, a set of another twins, um, that are your boy Gary's sisters. So we did a live stream together and part of that live stream outside of the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard situation part was that, um, my sister and I did some mini reads for these twins that we had never met before. So it was interesting. It was fun. It was cool. Um, it's always nice to, to have a little moment like that. Um, so yeah, this, this footage is going to be from that. I will link the full video down below in case you're interested in seeing all of it. Um, I think I mentioned in the past video that that video had a little bit of audio issues more than, than what would be be normal on Gary's channel um, so if you want to check out any of uh, his other live streams then by all means feel free go ahead he does a lot of that fun chill live stream stuff where people just get together on a panel and they're all hanging out and all talking and it's just it just is chill I'm a, like super uh, all the time and Gary's not Gary's like yeah that sounds good yeah, like he's, I just can't, I aspire to be the level of chill that your boy Gary is. I aspire to that, <laughs> oh, but it was fun. Also, if you're interested in seeing a set of twins gang up with another set of twins, 
against Gary. This is a great video for that. <laughs> because poor thing, he was sandwiched in the middle of two sets of twins, four females, and he was the the man in the middle and um bless his sweet little soul. <laughs> He got ganged up on it. It was a good time. It was fun. Um, so anyway, gonna roll that here so that y'all can kind of see that. And again, it's another good example of some of the wild stuff that can sometimes come up in private readings. Sometimes private readings um, with me are very specific, like, you know, I am looking into getting into a new job, but I don't know if I should leave my old job yet, or it could be real specific like, you know, I am in a relationship and I feel like my marriage is breaking down. Do you see that it's like doomed to fail or, you know, are we on, on the verge of divorce here? You know, there's usually a lot of specific questions like those going on in private readings, but sometimes we have some curveballs up in there some some strange stuff here's an example of that but it was very neat very interesting um when gary asked you know about his twin sisters he said you know what is the connection between the two is there any kind of spiritual connection between the two or special connection between the two that that would be cool for us to know about and so that's what i looked into with the cards and then i did a little bit of a mini reading on his uh, two twin sisters separately. One is Wendy, one is Cindy. <laughs> Love it. And I did um, separate readings for each of them and then kind of how that goes together with his question about their twin connection and how that uh, comes about spiritually. So it was a very interesting read. The question was not one that I get often. So it was cool. It was cool to be able to do that. So I'm going to let that roll right now. Yeah, mine, mine, the reason why I had to just go ahead and do yours is because mine went really weird. Like, more, first, mine like goes weird. I know, but mine usually doesn't go quite like this. This went quite abstract mm -hmm. um, because whenever I was asking in my head, I was trying to interpret Gary's question about like the two of you and your connection together and this and that. And when I was asking about that and the connection together, where this went was not in this lifetime but as in zoomed out the two souls and the soul connection together broader than this, than this particular lifetime and so wow. it went it went weird compared to a normal type of reading so the like, crap i'm gonna have to just hang to the back and do mine separate then <laughs> um because the way this looked, this pile was the one representing cindy this one group, okay and Wendy. okay so how this looked it looks like from here that y'all have had multiple lifetimes together, but not always in the same type of relationship with each wow. other, but always coming into lifetimes together. And whenever I got this pile here for Cindy's, it looks like you came out of the last life first before she did before wendy did um and these cards are so little y'all um that you came out of it first um and that you kind of uh that yours your last one would have kind of ended in a bit of a difficult uh way um and so however that plays out it seems like in this lifetime because of that you might be um having to kind of purge off some stuff some experiences and some healing from the last one so if you find that in this life there are just certain things that you feel like might come up for you or bubble up for you and you're like where is that coming from why am i even feeling this like what yeah. you know it seems like it comes out of nowhere it's coming yeah. from a hard ending from the one before yeah still yes. in this one um so it's kind of like the idea of like um like when they say oh rocks and fossils that are way underneath the surface and when they come up they off gas for a certain amount of time it's like that's what you're doing here um and so the that's kind of where those strange emotions are strange um things there's also what they're coming up with like you would have more than a normal person amount of like deja vu weird moments <sighs> and something like that um, yeah whoa like, yeah, that you would have more yeah. than that, that, more than your fair share of that. And That's this fun. is because you're linking back to past stuff. 
And so you don't realize that, but you're hopping timelines when you do that. Um, and, and, and so it's like there's a lot of different potentials in any given situation. And the one we put the most energy behind becomes the one that's the most opaque for a, a lack of a better way of saying it. And it's as if you jump through all these other ones that were a little bit more transparent and not opaque. And so you're jumping back and forth. So it's it's weird. Um, but wow. you're doing that because of how you're or a previous lifetime ended and it didn't it, it there was something that didn't go well with that and you came out first and it looks like when you came out first as it was time to start writing new contracts for this life for re-entering you picked y'all's mom so you're the one that chose chose her so i don't know if there's if you ever wow. felt like there was any kind of a specific thing between you and her that would have been either weird or different or feelings that you would have felt about her or from her that Wendy wouldn't have or something. There would be something different about um, how you and your mom would connect than her um, because of this. Yes. You were the one that made that selection. 100% um, just got what you just said there. Wow. Yeah. So it's so it's it's bizarre. So then then moving over here to Wendy, Wendy got to stay in her life longer. Her life was going really well because <laughs> so she, was, she was staying in longer. Sense. And yeah, yeah, she was she was having a good old time. She was uh, she totally was living sense. pretty pretty prosperous in that kind of a lifetime. And so whenever she came out, she was she was able to kind of hop directly into what you had already kind of lined up for her because the connection between the two of y'all is we always go together. I'm not leaving until she's here kind of a thing. Oh. And so you got things set up and ready until she was available. And then y'all made the decision to, to jump in together. And because she got it so easy in the last, life there are some things that she has to go through in, in this <laughs> life that she probably is already kind of going through yep. that is kind of making up for it a bit like you know the, the universe totally always makes sense. Even things out so if you had a little bit of an easier go you know you might experience some more difficult things and another thing to kind of just always keep you evened out evening out the scales so wow. there's that sense of evening things out here which is why she might have a little bit more of a difficult time with certain things in this particular life so mine oh, wow. went <laughs> That's oh, crazy that you say that because I always say, what have I done to deserve this? Like, what did I do in my past life that I'm dealing with this crap? I literally made that comment. I'm um, just tripping that you said that. Yeah, yeah, said that. that's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's just a matter of like our souls evening out that balance, and so it's not that you did anything wrong, you didn't yeah. deserve anything, and not the having balance. To yeah. somebody else. It's just universal balance, and we yeah. all go through it, and so it's completely neutral. The universe sees it as neutral, so you don't have to guilt yourself, worry yourself, do whatever. There, it, none of that's attached to it. That's crazy. I need to oh man, thank you so much, guys. Alrighty, y'all. What do you think? What do you think? Sound off down below. All of your vibes, your thoughts, your feels. It was a fun time. It was. I'd love to hang out and do that kind of a thing again. Um, and and yeah, I like I said uh, below. I'll link the that video, um, and it'll take you to your boy Gary's channel. Um, for anybody who is interested in that, I'm just grateful to have that opportunity. It was fun. It was a good time. Um, and yeah, if you'd like a private reading with me, in the description box below, beastalksandtarot.com, you can schedule it yourself. Um, it's all right there. Everything else is in the description box too. Merch and P.O. boxes and donations and all the whole nine yards. Scripts about what I do to cleanse and clear my space whenever I'm doing readings. All that's in the description box and on my website. So... Check it out if you're interested. Check it out if you're interested. And speaking of merch, context. Context. Yes. A little bit of jiggle there. That was an accident. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is a shirt that I have on. Um, 
for my merch uh, on the website and I cut it myself I like this rough edge cut really rough looking cut um, and I cropped it because I like that look I think that's cute and so that's what I did I'm like you know what I'm gonna get me a black context shirt and I'm a clip 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 snippy clippy snippy clip and make something new out of it and I did and it was fun so anywho that's 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 an idea if you're if you're looking to kind of jazz up some merch then that's an idea for you anywho I'm gonna quit rambling now I'm gonna head on out but you know don't be a stranger. Come back and see me, and I will talk at you later. Bye, love you, man. Bye, love you, man. Bye, y'all.